Hey, how's everybody doing? Welcome back to the Hot Rod Workshop. Today, we're gonna make a lathe chuck bead roller adapter. Now, lately I've been thinking about welding positioners. Uh, they're relatively simple machines. They're simple three jaw chucks with a slow moving gear reduced motor. Now, I figure I have the bead roller with a slow moving DC motor that I can control with a potentiometer. I also have a three jaw and a four jaw chuck off of the south bend. So I figured, well, why not make an adapter that I can throw the three jaw or four jaw onto the bead roller. So the task at hand is to find out the thread pattern off of the headstock of the lathe and make an adapter out of aluminum so I can throw the three jaw onto the bead roller. And there you go, horizontal welding positioner. All right, so the first measurement we're gonna go for is the overall diameter, which looks to be inch and a half. And the next measurement we want is threads per inch. Now I can't get the caliper all the way into an inch. So what I'm gonna do is set the caliper at half an inch, thread, or I'm sorry, measure how many threads I have, which looks like I have four threads within a half inch. So doubling that, that makes it eight. So eight TPI or threads per inch. All right, so we got our bit in the quick change holder. We got it set to the right pitch that we want. So from here, I wanna loosen up my tool holder here and use the same guide I used for the cutting to set me up at the correct angle to the piece that I want to cut.
All right, so the adapter turned out pretty nice. Uh, I ended up using a piece of inch and a half aluminum round stock that I had laying around. Uh, if I had to do it again, I would have gone with a little bit bigger piece uh, for two reasons. One, to absorb the uh, set screw a little bit more and also to have a little bit more of a flange or end for the three jaw chuck to kind of butt up against once it's fully threaded on. But you know how it goes. You use what you have, you know what I mean? Now, as you can tell, I am very out of practice here, but I was able to get a few good examples in stainless, aluminum, and a really janky piece of carbon steel there. I think it's a little too fast still. Uh, I had to stab the pedal as I was welding, and because of that, it kind of throws me off, and I don't know. I mean, I'll, I'll get, eventually get used to it, but maybe if I take a look over at McMaster car, maybe I can reduce the speed down a little bit with the gears in the back just a little bit more to gain uh, or to reduce the speed just a little bit more so I can kind of just roll with it. But the concept works. Uh, I can just throw the adapter on the bead roller, pull the chuck off the lathe, bring it over here, and I don't have to buy another tool. I don't have to take up more space in the shop. I could just throw the adapter on and there you go. So yeah, if you have a homemade bead roller like this, or if you have an Eastwood machine, I don't, I don't know exactly how slow those machines can go, but if you have something that can go a little bit slower than this one even, then uh, it's worthwhile to make yourself a adapter and run a three, three jaw chuck in there. You can even pick up like a three jaw chuck off of a wood lathe. It's probably even cheaper that way. So yeah, three jaw chuck in the bead roller makes a nice horizontal positioner. Thanks for watching.